As per the report given by the World Health Organization, there are almost 400 million people who do not have access to the basic health care facilities. That is a huge number. Basic health care facilities comprise of vaccinations for children, clean water and other regular health checkup facilities. There are multiple reasons that have led to such crisis. First being the people live in a remote area, where it is not possible to provide health care services on an urgent basis. In fact, even in the cities in current times, the ratio of patient to the doctor is 48,000 people to only one doctor. Hence, as per the World Health Organization, everyone should be provided the necessary training relating to the basic hygiene, sanitation, basic treatment of wound and infection and basic birth assisting skills. Everyone should actively take part in such training and stay aware. Good morning class, raise your hand if you're left-handed. That looks uncommon isn't it? As per a report given by JPSC University, almost 90% of the people are right-handed. The same has been no different throughout the history. Almost every religion has right side associated to positivity or it is considered correct, while the left is considered negative or even evil. In ancient Japan, Men had a right to reject the marriage proposal of left-handed women. Shockingly, even today in China teachers force left-handed students to practice and learn to write with their right hands. Also, if we think of everyday items such as scissors, keyboards, can opener, nail cutters are designed for right-hand usage. Even scientists have their own theories and debates on the handedness. Most of the scientists define the left or right-handed person by his or her preferred writing hand. However, some of the scientists claim, it should be defined on the basis of the hand that can be used more faster and accurately in performing various activities like picking heavy objects, using the hammer etc. Companies do not realize the importance of having a woman in the workforce. Recruiting women can increase the financial performance of the company to a great extent. As per a research conducted in 2018, companies with higher number of women in their board of directors seat have shown exceptional financial performance compared to others. Also a recent study has shown that a gender diverse team normally performs well compared to a male dominated team. However, it has also been observed via a study that women don't negotiate for salary. The study showed that 65% of the men joining a job negotiate for salary whereas only 9% of the women negotiate for the same. 
Also, it has been observed that men dedicate their success to themselves, whereas women dedicate the same to others or to their luck. These are the things that women need to improve and also to recognize and believe in their own ability and talent. The same will help them get the recognition and promotions they deserve. The number of people migrating to countries other than their country of origin has increased enormously since 1991. Approximately 260 million people have settled in other countries as per a report issued in 2017. Everyone has their own reason to leave their origin country, but they all have their own life experiences, knowledge, religion, and dreams with them. They learn new skills in the host country and use the same to provide for their families in their country of origin, by transferring money to them. These transfers are called financial remittances. You'll be surprised to know that migrants have sent approximately $480 billion to their families in developing countries in the year 2017, as per a report. These remittances are almost thrice the financial aids provided to these developing countries. These remittances help the families in developing countries to fight poverty, provide good housing facilities, improve their educational level, and improve their health conditions. The theme selected by the World Health Organization for 2018's No Tobacco Day is Tobacco Breaks Hearts. You all would be knowing that smoking causes lung cancer and various breathing problems. But did you all know that smokers are more prone to heart attacks? The theme selected by the World Health Organization directly focuses on the risks of smoking and people's cardiovascular health. These diseases are the world's leading cause of death, killing approximately 17 million people every year. Smoking and secondhand smoke are the major causes leading to stroke and various heart disease, as well as cardiovascular diseases. Cardiovascular diseases contribute about 14% of the all heart disease deaths in the world. Smoking also increases the formation of plaque in blood vessels, which in the long run will increase the risk of blood clots, and the same also decreases the levels of oxygen in the blood. This stresses our heart and makes it work harder. People who smoke are more likely to have a heart disease than others.